722.9 out of a CLS 63 formatic clutch upgrade clutch upgrade and make sure that everything is fine today it's Thursday December 15 2022 now I don't see any problem here on the input shaft needle bearing of the pump from here it looks okay there was not any oil leak from the seal I don't remember the mileage, the kilometers of the car, okay? The seal here is not leaking, we're looking good. The drive shaft for the front diff, it looks okay, the cross here. I don't see any movement or something, I checked it also when it was on the car. And the MCT, or converter, a little bit black oil, but it's okay. Nothing wrong here, I don't see any problem here. Fine. Leave it covered. We don't need this. Let's open it to see what are we gonna see inside. Is it gonna be only glass upgrade, or will we gonna have any problem? I hope not. Yay! So they open it here. We're gonna make a mess here. Yay! I like that I fix also the tray down to collect the oil. Where I have it inside? I might, I might use it. We'll gonna see. We'll gonna see about that. Let's stripping it off to see how it looks like. The car is nice and clean, by the way. Beautiful. This is the clutch upgrade. It's a precaution for the future, obviously. Continue opening the transmission. At this point, I want to say two things only. I want to mention two things. <clears throat> first thing first. When it comes like that out, this, the, the, the rear, uh, oh boy, the planetary gear, and all the rear part here, it should stay here on the tower. It's supposed to continue up to here, with the output shaft hanging out, all right? Now, it's stuck inside. Why it's stuck inside? Because it's stuck on the parking uh, brake, on the um, parking gear there. Why it's stuck on the parking uh, gear there? Because the sp splints on the output shaft is being compromised, it's been twisted, and need to push it to come out. I have mentioned that before. One is this, the output shaft, it's not healthy, you're gonna see later on. Then, the two clutches here, you see how much burning there are. All right, these two clutches, yes, two or three clutches. It might be three, and in any case, they're burnt. This is for the formatic, all right? This, to change these clutches, you have to change all this piece, complete. The planetary gear. It's attached, has a rivets, all right? I don't know if anybody, uh, Chains, or he put the I don't know bolts, or you're gonna rivet it again. I have no clue. I don't even know where to find the clutches. This clutch that has here. So the bearing, the race over there, the bearings here all looks good. There is no problem whatsoever. The only problem what we see here is the clutches, like I said, and it's not gonna have a good distribution on the front wheels and the rear wheels, and it might produce some sound when it starts slipping a little bit. This one. And then the output shaft that it's stuck inside. Yay. You're gonna see, if you see previous videos, even in a non-formatic, I'm saying that the parking brake, the gear for the parking brake, it should slide easily inside. Why? Because when you are putting it after that all inside, it has, you have to align the clutches. So you cannot just throw it in and start hammering it or forcing it. It has to come nice and slide, to slide nicely inside. That's what I have to say. You'll, you'll gonna see this again later, not now. Start of my life. Back inside of the engine room. Now, a couple of parts I have already washed it. Actually, all of them I have cleaned it, except of the clutches, the drums and this kind of stuff. Later, not now. Like I've said before one million times, I'm gonna say that again. First, checking the parts while you're taking apart the transmission. Me. First, I'm checking the parts when I'm taking apart the transmission. Then I'm taking again the parts when I'm washing it, and then I'm taking again the parts when I'm gonna try, uh, when I'm gonna go to install it to put back together. Now, let's put behind the curtain the parts that's been already checked, or the parts that I cannot check, like the TCU or the torque converter, the MCT example. All right, behind the curtain, these parts, the healthy parts, and the parts like the torque converter that I cannot check it. All right, there was not any fault with the gear selector. It will gonna stay here. There is no problem with the transmission mount bracket. There is no any sign of mark 
from an accident, let us say, or any crack or whatever. So, also this goes behind the curtain. There you go. The drive shaft. It's excellent, there is no movement or something. I check it on, I check it after that with both my hands. When I was washing it, it goes behind the curtain. There is no any mark or something whatsoever, it didn't hit anywhere. Torque tone converter or MCD, call as you like. Yay! Both hands. <laughs> there. Transmission mount, no crack whatsoever, nice and stiff as supposed to be. Been washed, I don't see any problem. It's not coming apart. Back. Drive shaft rubber coupler, it looks like a brand new. There is no sign of any mark here, it's excellent. Beautiful, no crack. Back. Bell housing. No any scratch whatsoever. Beautiful surface. Excellent. The check valve. Nice and clean. I already clean it. There is no problem. From inside, where it sits, the oil pump. There is no scoring. Nothing behind the curtain. I haven't done this before, right? I don't remember. Yeah, that's the first time. Not bad. <laughs> Transmission housing. No scratches. Nothing beautiful. I didn't see any problem anywhere. It's been degreased. It's been the sealant. I took it up. Uh, took it. There is no problem. I remove it. There is no problem on the surface here. The surface here, and then if you go sideways here, front it's excellent, inside it's excellent. All right, don't ask me what's that, that's how it's coming from the factory. I didn't touch that at all. All right, just saying. So, also this behind the curtain. All right, what other stuff I can put? Let me get these parts and put it up there, and then yeah, I'm gonna put for the planetary gear, for the four-wheel drive, for the formatic. Yep, makes sense, right? Okay. Clean surface, no single mark. The race, it's okay, both of them. Same story from this side. No sealant, nice and clean. All right, behind. Bearing. No problem, no sound, it's not spinning freely, it's beautiful, clean surface, no scoring, no scratches, no whatsoever. Old seal, I want to see what they give me, what they brought me, it's been washed, by the way, all of the, these parts what I'm showing you, it's been washed. And plus I keep also this seal here, for the gear selector, it's still on, I haven't removed it yet. This I believe it's called Sun Gear. There is no scoring here where it's running the, the bearings. One second. Talking about these two bearings here. One, two. There is no scoring. It looks beautiful. I don't see any mark. It's excellent. Putting it back. There. Oil pump. Again, no scoring, no wear, no nothing. I already open it, I already check it inside. This is nothing. Alright. Literally, it's nothing. The needle bearing looks excellent. Also the MCT where it's running, the needle bearing, there is no mark or something. The seal looks excellent. I'm changing the seals. This seal and this seal. But like I said, let me see what they brought me first. Behind the curtain. Oil pan. Nice and clean. I might blow with her again before I install it. I put one piece of paper here to don't hurt the surface. And putting it here. Everybody happy. Pump for the start-stop. Usually I'm not taking it because they are deactivating from the tune, from the software. And except of this there was not a fault. And here in this country nobody is using the start-stop function. All right. There was not any leak or something from the pump. It's fine. It can stay there. Let's see these two gears. There is 
inner bearing here there is no problem outer and the gear itself excellent I have seen catastrophic failure of the bearings and I have not seen catastrophic failure of the gears and the inner bearing I have never saw it failing it's it's good and the same thing here both bearings are excellent the cross doesn't move it's nice it's fine you're gonna see the results if it failed the cross inside here the CV joint I think yeah uh, if it failed this one you can see the signs on the, on the drive shaft you're gonna hit everywhere and you're gonna have a problem after that all right there and here nice now I have plenty of space here I can continue checking the parts I'm gonna separate also the parts that I don't have to check something from this side the gasket obviously I don't have to check anything all the rest this is already checked there's nothing wrong with that I can put it one second now I'm gonna check that again this does have any problem yeah let me take care about the parts the TCU with the valve housing with the solenoids you're gonna stay there, you're not gonna be touched. Yeah, give me a second. Nothing to check here. The needle bearing, and here where it's running inside, it looks nice and beautiful. I don't see any scoring on the machine surface here inside I'm talking about. Don't afraid about these bearings. If you open it like this and it crack, that means you need to change it. You don't want to break while it's in place inside. So it's better, let us say, when you open it, if it's burnt, to burn on, to to break on your hand and then change it than to break inside. The two o-rings need to be replaced. The surface looks excellent. I don't see any problem whatsoever. The same thing from inside, where it's sealing. Yep, beautiful, nice, amazing. Nothing wrong whatsoever. Then the bearing looking good here where it's running looks excellent I don't see any problem keep it there this is where it goes the K3 the center inside the K3 actually and this one I want to take it with the new clutches because if it bites it's not so much deep but it's not also it's 50 50 I'll go and call it. I want to see if it bites the new clutch inside or if it has extra clearance. It's not the ideal. This surface here it's supposed to be nice and smooth. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna fit this one. So, this taking it up with the clutches. Same thing also the planetary gear here. I want to see there is these marks here. All right, here there is no, here there is. And now, if you make it this way, it's not so deep. I have seen much worse than this. It's gonna be checked with the new clutches. Nothing to worry about it. Okay, keep it there. All right, no discoloration whatsoever. Same thing here. This, yeah, what's oh, okay. I need to remove the glove and check with the new clutch, like I said. I don't have any headache. Keep it there. This I said before that the needle bearings here are okay. They don't have any problem. All right. You saw it also when they are running. Even inside, it's nice and shiny, and the needle bearing is fine. All right. Both of them. There is no problem. The gear, the sun, the planetary gear here. There is no problem. There is no extra clearance whatsoever. It does make any sound. All four of them, they spin the same. It's okay. The clutches, from the other hand. You can clearly see that it's burnt. If you go to watch another video with the formatic, you can see that the color of this is supposed to be like this, supposed to be bright, it's supposed to don't be uh, black, burnt, as it's this one. All right. This one, question mark. What are we going to do with that? All right. I 
nothing wrong here where it sits, it's nice, it barely touches at this point, it's nothing, it's a drop in the ocean. The middle bearing, you can see also when it's running. No sign whatsoever. I don't see any step, it didn't make any step. Nice, nice, nice. Staying here. The, uh, yeah, later on this one. Then, 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 then. Like I said, question mark on the planetary gear. All right. And then output shaft. Output shaft. I have mentioned this one million times that if it doesn't pass the parking gear, that's a parking gear, right? If it doesn't pass freely inside, and if it's stuck, like it was stuck. I cannot close the transmission. At least me, personally, I cannot close the transmission because I'll get, either I'm going to destroy the clutches or I'm going to cause the damage. It has to pass. If I had a used output shaft here, I don't have from informatic, you're going to see that if I try to put the parking gear on, you're going to pass full down easily, nicely. Not freely, but correct with the, how it's supposed to be. Now, to stack there... Ugh. It's not right, and like I said, I'm not gonna be able to close it properly, the transmission. All right. The output shaft has an output shaft, except of this point here, it does have any problem. The bearing is okay. The race inside is okay. There is no scoring whatsoever. The seals are a little bit tired, nothing new here. The gears, they don't have any problem. There is no extra play or something, clearance. It's fine. Now, only the parking brake gear that's not passing through this. Not the, the parking gear is supposed to be here at this point. That's why it's like that. But it's deforming. It's well known. It's not something new here. I have made a video for that. I don't know. 50 times, maybe more. Uh, th this is also with a question mark. There is no problem with this. Give it here. This needs to be checked. Need to be opened. I need to sense with the seal. So, different thing. The clutches and the pistons, the drums and all these things. And different the parts. Like what I show you. Should I upload this video because we're going to be huge and make another one for the clutches? Makes sense. So don't be huge the video now we're 14 minutes plus the previous yeah i'm gonna upload this one and then i'll gonna continue with the clutches with the new clutches and the old clutches to see the difference and to see when it's nice time to change the clutch to put upgrade clutch because you see on the clutches some discoloration you see that it start becoming black in some points that means it's a right time to change it before they start slipping completely you know, if it starts slipping, it cannot go back. It cannot get fixed by itself. That's what I'm talking about. That's it for now. I'm uploading this part and then next part later on.